امرتهم بالسواق عند كل وضوء يروى نحوه عن جابر وزيد بن خالد عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ولم يخص الصائم من غيره وقال عائشه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مطهرة للفم مرضاة للرب narrated Amr ibn Rabih says I saw the Prophet peace be upon him cleaning his teeth with siwak while he was fasting so many times as I cannot count and narrated Abu Huraira the Prophet peace be upon him said but for my fear that it would be hard for my followers I would have ordered them to clean their teeth with siwak on every performance of ablution. The same is narrated by Jabir and Zaid bin Khalid from the Prophet peace be upon him, who did not differentiate between a fasting and a non-fasting person in this respect. Aisha peace be upon him said, the Prophet peace be upon him said, it, I mean the siwak, is a purification for the mouth and it is a way of seeking Allah's pleasures. So, keep on cleaning your teeth even when you are fasting. This is a source of seeking Allah's pleasures. Thank you very much. I lay odds that you were on the Henderson that Sunday morning with Samson. Have ablution while fasting. is a tradition from Sahih al-Bukhari from Kitab al-Sawm. Al-Humran Qala ra'aytu Usman radiyallahu an tawadda fafra ala yadayhi thalathan thumma tamadmad ustanthar thumma ghasala wajhahu thalathan thumma ghasala yadahu al-jumna ila al-mirfaq thalathan thumma ghasala yadahu al-yusra ila al-mirfaq thalathan thumma masaha bi ra'asihi thumma ghasala rijla يمنى ثلاثا ثم اليسرى ثلاثا ثم قال رأيت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم توضأ نحو وضوئي هذا ثم قال من توضأ وضوئي هذا ثم يصلي ركعتين لا يحدث نفسه فيهما بشيء إلا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه نرتد Humran, he says, I saw Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him, performing ablution. He washed his hands thrice, rinsed his mouth, and then washed his nose by putting water in it, and then blowing it out, and washed his face thrice, and then washed his right forearm up to the elbow thrice, and then the left forearm up to the elbow thrice, then smeared his head with water, washed his right foot thrice, and then his left foot thrice, and said, I saw Allah's Prophet, peace be upon him, performing ablution similar to my present ablution. And then he said, Whoever performs ablution like my present ablution, then offers two rak'at in which he does not think of worldly things all his previous sins will be forgiven if somebody performs ablution like this and then offers two rak'at of prayers to seek forgiveness of Allah the Almighty but during his prayers while performing this two rak'at prayer he does not talk with himself. Some ideas come to him, that's a different story. But he intentionally does not have soliloquy. He does not talk with himself. He concentrates on his own, he concentrates on his prayers. Then Allah the Almighty will forgive his previous sins. There's another tradition, it's a uh, selling